Look, Brooks. Look. Oh my gosh. Hey Brooks. Well, hey there, Dunbar. Look, we got a new one right there. Oh my goodness. I knew it was coming. We're losing shoes and a beanie. This thing. Hey guys, Dusty Baker Cross Timbers Bison. This is Brooks Baker, baby girl. We are checking for babies because I knew we were super close on some more and we had one a couple days ago. Peaches has had her first calf ever. And then I come out here today and I knew there was one more. Either Bell Star or Quapaw was really close. And sure enough, Bell Star's got a baby right out here. I'm gonna let you guys take a look. So this is Peaches. She had hers. Oh, look at there. That's full protection mode right there. Wow. All right. Feisty mom, I like it. And there's a little calf. Don't know what it is. And then over in the distance, see, yesterday I came and checked them. And we've had number two here. Peach's baby. And Bell Star didn't come up. Matter of fact, she's right out there by a bison waller. She wouldn't come up because we've been bringing them cubes. That's what Dunbar wants. It's an easy way to check on them and see how they're doing. Plus, we've been using it as a rotational uh, tool. Obviously, you've probably seen that video before. Looky there. Looky there. But Bell Star didn't come up. And guys, I, this is kind of crazy. Baby fever. But we've got another cow out here. And she's not coming up. And her head's down. Which means I don't think she's grazing. I think she's licking on... A newborn calf so this is tough because i don't like to get too close but i want to get close but i want to get out there and i want to see and just by the looks of it i think it's little quapaw heifer is who i think it is so we've got a new baby right here we've got peaches baby and something's going on out here and i just by the looks of it we may have another calf so we've got eleanor big Grand Champion Quapaw, oh crazy old Dakota, who's the one that's been sick. Quapaw, she hadn't had her baby yet. She's getting close. We've got to go check this out, Brooks. Brooks, I think we showed up on a good day. What do you think? <gasps> what do you think? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, let's give this guy a couple of cubes so he'll leave us alone. This big old guy. Let's go. It's been raining here so much. Oh, looks like he got a cigar. I'm gonna give this guy some cubes real quick. Sorry, we're gonna have to throw him down on the ground for you so you can leave us alone. I don't have time to hand feed you. We got action, we got things happening. We got, we got some more red dogs on the ground. Huh? You guys don't think Brooks is afraid. Here. Give it to him. Give it to him. Oh, she just wants to pat him. Oh, he's gonna lick you. <laughs> Look at the baby. <laughs> Give him your cube. <laughs> Look at the baby. Oh, dumb bar. All right, buddy. We gotta go see what's going on out here. Okay. 
let's open this gate. Everything's a little bit tougher when you got a baby, but oh, we always make sure she's safe because this big old goon. Not that he would try to hurt anyone. It'd just be him getting out of the way. Him, that's the only way. Okay, we'll be back. We got we got some stuff to do. They're probably gonna fall us because they think they think that we're uh, rotating pastures when we come down here. Here they come. I think we're rotating, but we're not rotating. Get out of the way. I want to see the baby. Get, get, get back. new baby a heifer we did not expect to have a baby oh my gosh little heifer has had a baby this this is kind of crazy because doc preg checked her and i think he missed her i saw some signs the other day that i just paid attention to i saw some signs Oh, look at this guy, getting all wiry. Dude, you're getting, you're getting too close. Monkey there. Oh. I did not expect this, but I told my wife, I said, little heifer looks like she's pregnant. Hey, get out. Baby? Oh. You see that baby? Oh. Oh. Eleanor wants to know what's going on. Oh. Hey, you best back up. <coughs> Tell her. <coughs> so get back. Get back, Eleanor. Here. We're gonna move. Dude, you need to calm down. Uh. We're keeping our distance. Um, but it's kind of funny. All the babies are migrating together. She still has afterbirth coming out. So she just had the baby. See, this is, see, this is little heifer. And that is the one next to her is what we call grand champion quapaw heifer. I bought these two together in 2019 and they're buddies and they're, they've been hanging out together for since they've got here. So she's checking on her. And she'll, the one on the right will be pretty soon. Dunbar, he's gonna go check now. Are 
Perfect, that's what we want right there. What in the world are you doing? You're flopping around and we've got a brand new baby out here. What a surprise, what a surprise. This is, this is fun and exciting because we did not think that little oh. heifer was gonna oh. have a baby. What, okay. My wife is going to be pumped. I haven't called her or told her yet, but I've got some good shots of the baby. I've actually never seen one this close to being born. I've never been able to see one even licked off. So this is uh, this is exciting. The first time for me to even see that afterbirth uh, because we just missed her having a baby. And um, it's funny, all the mamas are hanging out together over there of our two new babies. And this is our newest newest and then i know this is our funny looking cow that is dakota she also came with quapaw here they used to look a lot alike and then dakota the one that doesn't have any hair right now she's made a recovery from uh the disease anaplasmosis um from a horsefly bite and i've done a video on that a couple years ago maybe a year and a half ago she's healthy she doesn't look <laughs> she looks a little crazy she looks a little funny. It doesn't look like a bison. It looks more like a, more like a water buffalo. But she used to look just like this um, at one time. She missed having a baby last year, but um, Doc says she's pregnant. So you guys remember me telling you about maybe having seven calves? Well, um, we may have eight now. If uh, Doc was correct on his preg checks, uh, which he just happens to miss. I mean, he's preg checked thousands of bison and I'm sure thousands of cattle, cows. So, um, you know, sometimes you just don't get it. But the other thing that may have been tricky for him, what are you doing? Is because this heifer, she's a little heifer. She's not that big compared to some of them. So uh, he, he may have just been hard for him to actually feel the calf. But guys, I'm glad you could be a part of this. A very exciting time. I promise I'll get closer and get some up close shots. Once the mamas settle down and the calves get used to their new surroundings, I'll be able to get closer to them, but I'm being respectful. This is close, plenty close enough to mama that just had a fresh red dog. So this makes four red dogs now on the Cross Timbers Bison Ranch. And um, right there at number four, unexpected. But like I said, I saw the signs and I try to keep up so I know which ones are getting really close. I was right this time. So my wife is gonna be pumped. So I'm excited. Who is that? Look at Eleanor. She's getting on her ATV. She said, where are the cubes? Where's the cubes? <laughs> what are you doing? Eleanor, you silly bison. All right, stay tuned. We're right in the middle of red dog season. I guess halfway there. So you guys keep watching and stay tuned. And I'll keep you updated on baby calves and uh, seeing all these red dogs out here. By the way, I've been getting questions. Why do they call them red dogs? Well, as you can tell, when these babies are born, they have this unique red color. I don't know what you call it, kind of a red orange, like a cinnamon almost, or the like a color of this Oklahoma red dirt. And uh, they look like a full-grown dog out here. Uh, when you look across that pasture and you see that unique red orange color. So it's just something God did. It's just like baby deer born with spots. It's kind of sort of the same thing. Uh, but we're only dealing with the, the North America's largest mammal instead. So hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Thanks for tuning in with Cross Timbers Bison. Scratching. Tell her. Huh? <laughs>
<laughs> Tell him, Eleanor, Give her a wave. There you go. Say hey, Eleanor. I'm gonna take Brooks' chicken.